Hello, I'm Mr. Howard, and in this video we're going to look at transformations of quadratic functions. So we've got the parent function, the parent quadratic function right here, y equals x squared, and a table of values that we can use to compare uh, for each of these examples. We're going to work through uh, several examples in the video of the different transformations. And I also have videos on basic transformations that would apply to any parent function, but in this specific video, we're just looking at quadratics. So this first example, we have y equals f of x plus 3. So that is going, we're away from x out here, so that's going to be a vertical shift with the sign. So we're going to move our coordinates up 3. That means our x coordinates will not change. So I'm going to put those in here. And there they are. And then our y values are going to increase by 3. So it was 9 in our parent function. So now it's going to be 12. It was 4. Now it's going to be 7. This coordinate with negative 1 uh, as an x coordinate, the y coordinate was 1. So now that'll be 4. It was 0. Now it's going to be 3 for the y coordinate. The y coordinate was 1. Now it's going to be 4 was 4, now it's going to be 7, and then this y coordinate was 9, now it's going to be 12. Alright, so we're just going to plot these points in there and then graph them. Alright, so I went ahead and plotted the points and then we'll just fit our graph in here uh, something like this. Okay, so notice how all of the uh, y coordinates just moved up 3. We took the f of x plus 3, so we moved the y coordinates up 3. Vertical shift up 3. So the width of the parabola did not change. We didn't stretch it in any way. We just moved it vertically up 3. All right, let's look at the next example. All right, here we have example 2. y equals f of x minus 2. So we're starting with our parent function here that we have graphed and a table of, and we are going to apply this transformation. This transformation is in with x, so it's going to be a horizontal shift, and it will be opposite of this sign uh, right here. So instead of left 2, because we're doing a horizontal shift, we're actually doing the opposite, which is going to be uh, moving to the right. So we're going to go right 2 here. So that means our y coordinates will stay the same, but our x coordinates will move 2 to the right. So let's go ahead and get the y coordinates in there. All right, there are the y coordinates. So um, my y coordinate of 9 over here was paired with negative 3, so I need to go right 2. Remember, we're moving to the right 2. Everything moves right 2. So instead of negative 3, it's now going to be negative 1. This next x coordinate, instead of negative 2, it's now going to be 0 because I've moved it right 2. Negative 1 moves right 2 to become 1. 0 moves right 2 to become 2. 1 moves right 2 to become 3. 2 moves right 2 to become 4. And 3 moves right 2 to become 5. So here are my new points after I've applied this transformation, a horizontal shift right to this parent function. So let's get those point, points plotted in there and get it graphed. All right, so here are all my points shifted to the right too. So I just graph that in here. And we have simply taken the parent function and moved it to the right too. Uh, based on this transformation right here. All right, let's move on to the next example. All right, here we have our third example, y equals 2 times f of x, so 2 f of x. So we are going to start with our parent function. We have graphed in the table here, and we're going to apply this transformation. We are outside away from x, so that is going to be a vertical stretch in this case by a factor of 2. So my y values are going to increase by a factor of 2. We're going to multiply all of these parent function y values by 2 in order to make this new table. But my x coordinates are going to stay the same. They will not change. So let's get those in there. All right, so there are my x coordinates. So my new y coordinate paired with negative 3 instead of 9 like with the parent function, it's now twice that. So it's 18. And I can go ahead to make this faster because we have the symmetry of a parabola. My positive 3 value will be paired with 18. Of course, this is an even function. So it follows that pattern. So we have negative 2 went with 4 before. Now it's twice that. So now it's 8. Because of the symmetry of a parabola, my 
positive 2x value will also be paired with 8. So I had negative 1 paired with a y value of 1 before. It's now going to be 2. So I can go ahead and put a 2 here with my uh, x value of 1. I'm just doubling all of these values. And 0 multiplied by 2 is still just 0. So here are my transformed uh, points, my stretch points. My y values have now doubled. So let's get those in there. All right, so here are the points. I had to approximate 18. It's way up there. So now we just graph this thing in. And we have a vertical stretch by a factor of 2 based on this transformation. So we have taken all of the original y coordinates. The x coordinates aren't changing. But we have taken all of the y coordinates and basically grabbed them. Uh, for example, we were at 2, 4 right here, and we grabbed that point and we just stretched it vertically, just like that. So this makes the parabola uh, more skinny or uh, not as wide as it was before. You could say more narrow. That's essentially what is happening to the graph. All right, let's look at the next example. All right, here we have example 4, y equals f of 2x. So now we are in the parentheses with x, and just like our horizontal shifts, uh, this is going to be opposite of what we are showing here. So we have 2 times x, so we're going to do the opposite of that. So we're going to divide all of our x coordinates by 2. So this is, in fact, going to create a horizontal compression. So we're going to leave our y coordinates alone, and we're going to take the x coordinates and compress them inward like that. Okay, so the resulting graph is going to be uh, changed in that way. All right, so let's get our y coordinates in there because they are not changing with this transformation. All right, so now we have our y coordinates in there. Remember, those aren't changing, but our x coordinates compared to the parent function are now going to be, after we apply this horizontal compression, we're going to be dividing all of these by 2. So that becomes negative 1.5 here. We were at negative 2, so now that's going to be divided in 2, so it's going to be negative 1. Negative 1 now becomes negative 0.5 or negative 1 half. 0 is still going to be 0. 1 is going to become positive 1 half or positive 0.5. 2 is going to become 1. And our x coordinate of 3 gets cut in half to 1.5. So here is our resulting table after applying this transformation. So let's get that graphed in there. All right, so we plotted the points in there. Now we can graph uh, through those points and we see we have a more narrow or skinny uh, parabola compared to the original and that's because we've taken all of these uh, we were let's take one example so we were at positive 2 4 on our original graph I'm going to do this in a different color so we were at 2 4 here right there and we took that point and we horizontally compressed it based on this change and so we just kept the y-coordinates the same and, and squished or compressed this point in. So here is its corresponding point over here uh, with the negative 2, 4 value that we have right here. And we had the 2, 4. So we are taking those and just like grabbing this thing, pushing it with our hands inward, uh, compressing it inward in the x direction. And the resulting graph is a skinnier parabola. All right, so let's move on and look at the next example. All right, here we have example 5, y equals negative f of x. So we're taking our original uh, parent function, our quadratic parent function, y equals x squared, or f of x equals x squared, and we're applying this to it. So negative f of x. So this is going to make a reflection over the x axis because we are actually taking, remember we can view f of x as our y values, f of x is our y. So we are taking the opposite because of this negative sign here, we are taking the the opposite of all of our y values so we are going to reflect those over the x-axis so any positive y value now becomes negative so that means that our um, x values are not going to change so we can go ahead and get those put in there all right so there we have our x values in there so now my negative 3x value was paired with a positive 9 uh, for a y value in my parent function now I take the opposite of that so just a negative 9 negative 9 here. 
I was paired negative 2 x value was paired with a positive 4 in my original after applying this to it it becomes a instead of a positive 4 is the opposite so a negative 4 we did have negative 1 1 so now we're gonna have negative 1 and this one now becomes a negative 1 0 0 can't take the opposite of 0 it's still just 0 so we were paired our positive 1 x value here was paired with a positive 1 so we take the opposite of that y value so that becomes negative 1 opposite of this 4 becomes negative 4 and opposite of this positive 9 becomes negative 9 and we still see the symmetry of our parabola in this table so let's get those points plotted in there and graph this all right, so here we have all of our points. So we just reflected those over the x-axis, which just changes the sign of our y-coordinate. So we can graph this in here. And we see our reflection about the x-axis, which is what happens when we take the opposite of our y-values, which is what this negative f of x actually does. All right, let's look at our next example. All right, so now we have example six, y equals f of negative x. So what kind of transformation are we applying now to this parent function x squared, where we are actually going to take the opposite of the x based on that negative sign right there. So we all of our x coordinates are now going to change signs. We're gonna take the opposite of all of these x coordinates compared to our parent function. So our y coordinates will stay the same, so we can go ahead and get those put in. All right, there are our y-coordinates. So now uh, we had a y-coordinate of 9 here paired with negative 3, so now that's going to be paired with positive 3. Uh, 4 here was paired with negative 2, now it's paired with positive 2. 1 with negative 1, so we change the sign of that x-coordinate from negative 1 to 1. 0, 0 stays the same. Uh, we had one positive one here, so now that's going to be a negative 1 x-coordinate. We're just changing the signs of all of these x-coordinates. So we did have uh, 2, so now it's going to be negative 2, and 3 becomes negative 3. Now, uh, what actually happens here, because remember we're taking the uh, opposite x-coordinates, so we change the signs of all of our x-coordinates, which causes a reflection about the y-axis, and because we're doing that to this parent function, which already has symmetry, it's an even function, we, it has symmetry to the y-axis, it's actually going to end up looking exactly the same, because we did have the point uh, 2, 4, for example, on this original, and now that corresponding point becomes negative 2, Four, and look it just lays on top of itself so we're actually going to end up with the exact same graph uh, that we had before so we did have 3 9 on the original parent function this reflection about the y-axis makes this point flip over to be negative 3 9 but again it lays on top of itself so it's actually the same graph so there's really no change to the graph uh, when we apply that to the um, parabola, the quadratic parent function, okay, because it already had symmetry to the y axis. All right, let's move on to the next example. That one was pretty easy. All right, here we are with example seven. We're almost done with this video. All examples in this video are provided by bluepelicanmath.com. Uh, we look at example seven here. We have our parent quadratic right here in the lighter gray, and then we have a transform function in the darker gray right here and it says give the function that describes the transformation from the original lighter parent f of x to the darker function and then describe the transformation in words okay well uh, our original graph you can see we have zero zero so that's where the vertex is so that's pretty easy to track where that's moving to so we went left one two three four so we can see that we went left four and our vertex moved down one. So we went left four and down one. Now let's check to see if there was a stretch of any kind. I think when you're looking at the uh, uh, the quadratic parent function, look for the point uh, two in the x direction. The original would be two in the x direction and four in the y direction. So the point two comma four would be on the parent function. So you can tell if there are any stretches of any kind, any compressions of any kind. And we have, if we go right here, we go right one, two, and we go up one, two, three, four. We are on the graph, so we can tell for sure there were no stretches. So um, I need to put this down one here. So we moved left four and down one. That's it. So we can just say that we moved left 
four and down one. So we described it in words. And then if we're going to apply our transformation, uh, we're going to say that we had F of, to go left four, remember it's opposite of the sign and it's in with X. This is a horizontal shift, so it's going to be an X. We went left four, so it's going to be an X plus four. And then the down one, we go this is a vertical shift, so we go with the sign out away from x. So since we went down one, it's going to be a minus one. So f of x plus four minus one. F the quantity x plus four in parentheses here. So left four down one. That's the words, and then here is our transformation uh, using our f of x notation. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the last example. All right. Last example here. Example eight. Give the transformation for times f of x minus 2, all in parentheses, plus 8. Write the equation for y strictly in terms of x, where the original parent function is f of x equals x squared. Okay, so all that this means is we're applying these transformations. So we're applying a vertical um, stretch of 4, and we're moving it uh, right to, and we're moving it up 8. And we're doing that to this original parent function. Uh, the quadratic parent function of x squared. So in order to do that, we would have 4 out in front, just like this, to apply the vertical stretch. And then because we want to move it right to, we're going to have uh, x minus 2 quantity squared. That's the way we move a uh, parabola left and right. In this case, we're going right to, so it's opposite of the sign. And then we have a vertical shift up 8, so that's just plus 8 out here. So here is our answer to that question. All right, this video is done. I will see you in the next video.